High-performance computing has become one of the most important types of enterprise applications. From simulations, to modeling, to advanced analysis, the most demanding computational tasks are critical to the success of companies across many industries. VMware brings a number of innovative technologies to the HPC field that enhances its full potential. Let's see how this works. Virtual machines can be tailored to each job with specific memory size and CPU count, and specific versions of OS, application, and software libraries with minimal impact on performance compared to bare metal. The isolation between virtual machines yields a number of benefits. The amount of resources granted to individual jobs is controllable by policy. A fault or crash in an application or OS doesn't affect any other running jobs. And because of security isolation, co-location of workloads from different groups is possible. You can even grant root access in one VM without fear of compromising others. By combining servers into a single pool, computational resources can be shared across all the HPC workloads in your organization that include specialized hardware accelerators, such as GPUs and FPGAs. If the resources on one server become overloaded, jobs can be automatically migrated live to other servers without disruption, thus maintaining balance of utilization across the environment. Should one server experience a hardware failure, jobs are automatically restarted elsewhere in the cluster, enabling greater resiliency and reduced downtime. Let's take a look at an example. The management interface for the virtual environment is accessed via the vSphere web client. There is a cluster dedicated for HPC workloads, as shown. Resource pools are used to manage the workloads by reserving and allocating compute resources. Resource pool information for different HPC workloads is shown. Compute resource settings reflect different priorities for the workloads. vSphere DRS ensures that applications can run properly on the same cluster sharing the same physical resources by load balancing and optimizing the cluster resources. We show performance information for the workloads running in the HPC cluster with imbalances in the utilization. We turn on DRS in automatic mode with an aggressive threshold to show its impact on balancing the utilization in the cluster. We see under recent tasks that DRS has initiated movement of virtual machines to balance out the cluster. Next, we show how vSphere snapshot and cloning capabilities can be utilized to reproduce state of HPC workloads. There are many instances where HPC workloads need to be reproduced and the state of a system needs to be captured. vSphere provides snapshot and cloning capabilities that can be used to restart a workload from the point that it was captured as and when desired. The cloning process shown for the Polyhead virtual machine takes a point in time snapshot of the running virtual machine and clones it as a means to capture the state. vSphere HA can help protect critical HPC virtual machines and improve their availability. The head node for the HPC applications is typically a single point of failure. We show that when one of the physical servers hosting the head node goes down, vSphere HA detects the failure and automatically brings up all the machines that went down on other nodes in the cluster. This helps reduce unplanned downtime for critical HPC virtual machines, such as the head node. VMware's proven enterprise-class virtualization technologies can be leveraged to increase operational efficiency, reduce complexity, and ensure greater workload security for your HPC workloads. To learn more, visit vmware.com go HPC.